Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In this session, we're going to learn all about unions in C. And while we are at it, please leave us a like if you find our content helpful and a sub to the channel would be appreciated. So now, without any further delay, let's begin. This session will help you to understand what unions is in C. Then, let's understand the union definition in C. After that, let's see how to create a union variable. Later on, how to access members of a union. Now, let's begin by understanding what a union is in C. Union is a special data type that holds elements of different data types at the same memory location. The concept of structure and unions are the same. However, the only difference is in terms of storage space and the keyword. So, for union declaration, we use the keyword union. Now let's have a look at a union definition in C. The union definition starts with the keyword union and is followed by tag name or union name. Then a list of union members inside the curly brackets and finally a union variable declaration. For example, the definition begins with the keyword union, then student as a tag name. And the union members are name of type char and age of type int, followed by S1 as a union variable name. Now we know how to declare members of a union, yet the memory is not allocated to these union members. Moving ahead, let's look at the creation of a union variable. Similar to the concept of structures in C, even in union, memory is allocated once the variable is created. And the union variables are created to access and assign the values of a union members in C. The syntax to declare union variable is as given below. It starts with the keyword union, followed by tag name, then a list of union variables. For example, the keyword union, then tag name student, followed by the variable s1. Now, let's consider the below given example and understand how the structures in C is different from the unions. As I discussed before, the only difference between structure and union is in terms of memory space. In structures, the memory is allocated separately for every single structure member. In a union, memory is allocated at the same location for all the members of a union. The highest memory space of a member is considered and memory is allocated. In this example, we have members name and age as a type char and int respectively. So with this example, let's understand the difference between structure and union elements in the memory. Once the variable is created, the memory for the members are allocated. In that case, the memory will be allocated for s1.name and s1.age. As we know, the size of a char is 1 byte. So, according to the size of a name, 4 bytes of memory space will be allocated and 2 bytes for age. So, the total memory allocated is 14 bytes. In the case of union, the memory for the elements name and age will be allocated at the same location. So, in this example, the highest memory space of an element is considered. That is, the size of an element name is 12 bytes. Now let's look at how to access the members of a union. We use the period operator to assign values and access the union members. The syntax that we follow to access the union members are union variable dot union member. Through an example, let's see how to assign values. So, we have S1 as a variable name followed by a dot operator. Then, H is a union member and with the help of the assignment operator, we assign a value. And to access the member, we have an example S1.H. Now, let's execute a simple program. From this program, we are going to find the difference between structure and union in terms of size. We have same list of members in both structure and union. So we are going to find the size it is occupying in the memory. Now let's run it. As you can see the name in union occupy largest memory. So the total size of union student is 12 and structure occupies this as 20. I hope it is clear. 
So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the unions in C programming. I hope the session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.